Question four, one of your three markers. Take your time, read it through, look for clues in the questions to make yourself pick up at least a few points that you know are on, on the content, because then you're guaranteed to pick up at least one mark. And then you just need to build on that. So what we've got here is the viscosity of alcohols depends on a number of factors. The strength of intermolecular forces, the size of the molecule, temperature. These factors can be investigated using alcohols and apparatus from the list below. Using your knowledge of chemistry, identify the alcohols and apparatus that you would select and describe how these could be used to investigate one or more of the factors affecting the viscosity of alcohols. Okay, so before you even start, we're going to have to look at what you know viscosity is. So if something is very viscous, then it is very slow to flow. Okay, it takes a long time for it to pour somewhere or to flow from one place to another. And it will also resist things flowing through it. So there are two ways that you tend to measure viscosity. Either we put it through something like a, like a burette, okay? Put a tap on it and basically time how long it takes for it to flow through. Open it, see how long it takes. Okay, that's so that would be a flow measure. The other measure would be to have something like a measuring cylinder Oh, very dodgy diagram of, but you see where I'm going, uh, with the alcohol in it, and we drop something into it, normally something like a ball bearing, you know, it's over, it's over there, and see how long that takes to drop through. Okay. Um, or we could do a flow um, from an incline. So you, you pour the liquid at the top and you see how far it flows in the set time. So you've got kind of different ways that you could measure your viscosity, you need to make a decision on how you which one you want to use. Okay, um, so that would be your your measurement. But then you need to pick one of these things. So if we're looking at the strength of intermolecular forces, then we are talking about is it straight Van der Waals? Sorry, London dispersion at the because it's all going to be Van der Waals. Is it London dispersion at the lower end? Um, or are we looking at hydrogen bonds? Now it's an alcohol, so we're looking at hydrogen bonds. But the question is, do we have one, do we have two, do we have three? So for this one, what you'd be trying to do is add in more hydrogen bonding. So you've got propan one all, you've got propan one three diol, and you've got propan one two three triol. So we've got here three hydrogen bonds at the top end, two here and one here. So if we try to use those, that would give us maybe a good look at that. Okay. If we were looking for a size of molecule, oh, here we go. So size of molecule, well, here we go. Methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, pentanol. There's a nice one for that. Okay. And temperature, you would just still maybe use two or three different alcohols, um, but then you would use temperature. We've got here kettle and thermometer, so um, you would need to heat it um, to a certain point. So I'm surprised they haven't got in here a water bath or something similar, which could bring things to, to the right temperature. So pick one. I think the size of molecule is probably the, the nicest because you could argue there is issues with going up um, with your number of hydrogen bonds, but you're also there, you're probably increasing the size, well, you are increasing the mass of the molecule as well with that. So um, I would say the nicest one is the size. Go for size of molecule, pick a nice, clear methane, methane, methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, pentanol. Um, they're all primary alcohols and just an increase in the carbon chain, and then decide which one you want to use. Um, to measure it. I think quite possibly timing how long it takes for a ball bearing to drop through would be reasonable um, or a flow rate through your burettes would be nice as well. Okay, I don't think it's the worst.